And as you remember from last night, this storm was really widespread. Here's a look at the areas that we just showed you on the map just now. Mundelein up north, south of that South Barrington. And then further south is Sugar Grove, and that's where Kai Martin is today with major damage to a campus. We're here in Sugar Grove in Kane County, and this is the campus of the Wabansi Community College. And you can see so many trees uprooted here. In fact, we've seen crews out here for hours, and they have hours of work to go. When you have tornadic winds, that's when these trees get picked up by the roots, and some trees, the workers tell me, were tossed across campus. So let's walk and try to see some of the cleanup here. This gentleman and other crews, they've been out here again since the very early morning hours of sunrise trying to get a handle on things. They decided to open campus as normal. Classes are continuing here in Kane County, so that is the good news for the students. Now, the National Weather Service will come out. They will see if there was a Sugar Grove tornado touchdown for sure, but a private weather station recorded a straight line wind of 60 miles an hour. We're hearing here in southern Kane County, and look what it did to this metal stop sign. Snapped like a toothpick. We're here in Sugar Grove. I'm Kai Martin. Back to you.